Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 6 and we've got some new teasers that have been released and it may lead to an official release date for Supergirl when it comes back. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we're going to be talking about a few different things, but the very important things, but especially the first thing we're going to be breaking down, and this comes from Azzy Tesfaye, who obviously plays Kelly in the show, and so Azzy confirmed they are filming Season 6, Episode 7 right now, which is an interesting development as we kind of knew that they were filming Episode 7 right now, but David Halewood, just a few days ago, maybe like five days ago or something, said that he was directing episode 6, so it seems like David actually made the mistake of saying he was filming episode 6, but in actual fact, he is filming episode 7 right now. So I guess that was just a mistake on his part when he posted that tweet online, and so linking up with episode 7, as he said they're shooting it right now, but also remember guys, at the moment it's taken them about 10 days or so, give or take, to shoot an episode, so with that, episode 7 should be wrapped by the 8th of February, and you have to take into account they don't shoot on the weekends, that is their days off. But the big thing that Azzy revealed in her Instagram live, she does these videos, you know, pretty often, and some of the cast members like Jessie and Nicole, they're quite active on social media, and so a lot of the time we do get insights, especially into this new season, from those guys, so I mean, I'm very appreciative of what they do, because a lot of the stuff that we know so far we wouldn't know if it wasn't for them, especially Jesse, he's been dropping some stuff recently. And so the big thing she dropped in this Instagram video is that she said she thinks Supergirl is coming back in April. She specifically drops a date, and that is very interesting because she drops a specific month. That means they've been told some sort of guideline as to when it's coming out, but they haven't set anything official and they definitely haven't told the cast when the exact release date is going to be. So that basically means nothing is actually concrete right now. The CW definitely has the possibility of changing their release dates and they just haven't come out and said anything. I'm presuming they're going to be releasing a release date sometime around March would be my guess. So maybe a month or so and then we'll hear something on Supergirl and hopefully we start to get, you know, a bit more information as we head towards April when, as he says, the show is supposed to come back, or as far as she knows, that's when it's supposed to. So let me know, what do you guys think about that? Do you think it's very realistic? Let me know in the comments. I do think this is very realistic. We were kind of debating, is it gonna be April or is it gonna be May? But I have to emphasize, as he did say April, so that is a rough guideline for when Supergirl will come out. However, she didn't say anything specific and she doesn't 100% know. So it's definitely up for debate and they can totally delay it till May because, you know, originally when they announced that most of the shows were being delayed last year, they said shows like The Flash would be coming back in January, but obviously that didn't turn out to be true. And then they said February, but then they delayed it again till the start of March. But now let's move on to my next point, but it's related to this. So if Black Lightning which is debuting at the start of February. It has a Monday time slot at 9, 8 central, so that's after the normal Supergirl time slot, where it would normally be no matter the day. Obviously, Supergirl last year aired on a Sunday, but before it used to air on Monday, so it would normally be the hour after. Anyway, that's besides the point. So if Black Lightning has no breaks, and they premiere the whole season from the start of February. They should be ending sometime around April. And if Supergirl wants to boost its ratings at all, I think they may go back to the Monday date that they used to have since it came to the CW in season two. And I think that would be the best thing to do because Sunday isn't always the best day. Yes, in terms of ratings, there is not that much competition, but again, Less people watch TV on a Sunday, I do believe, but I guess it just matters on your normal schedule. So I'm just kind of generalizing here, but anyway, so Black Lightning will be airing on a Monday, so if it's gone, Supergirl could totally go back to its Monday release date like it used to wear, and so maybe it would move to 8, 7 central, because Black Lightning's time slot is 9, 8 central, and therefore All American, which is airing Mondays at 8, 7 central, may move up to Black Lightning's 9, 8 central time slot. So that is just a schedule situation that could potentially work, and it might happen. However, this is just me theorizing right here, and I don't have any definitive answers, and no one does, not even Azzy does, and not even the rest of the Supergirl cast does, so it's still 
up in the air and we have to wait for an official announcement from the CW which should come sometime in the next few months. Now moving on to the next topic, this again comes from Azzy who posted a set photo of her, Kyla and Nicole and so in the set photo and this is one of the first set photos we've had since they came back to film so I thought I would bring it up and talk about what they were wearing so Azzy is just in her normal Kelly wear dressed cool and smart and then also you have Nicole in the background who is suited up in the same dreamer suit so it doesn't seem like we're gonna get any sort of upgrade for her suits considering that this is Supergirl's final season maybe they just decided to stick with it and if there was another season if there was like a Supergirl season 7 I think they would have upgraded her suit because that's what they do to most heroes and so Alex is there and she is still in her new suit and still has that makeup that they introduced at the end of last season. Again, it's a bit weird, it's a bit over the top. I'm surprised that they don't just give her a mask or something like that because I think the whole idea of the overdone makeup is to be like her concealing her identity whereas I don't see why they won't give her a mask. But anyway, I like the suit still so I'm looking forward to it. Also, another version of this was posted on Instagram by Azzy again, so she's just feeding us. Well, in that, we've got them in a different pose, while well, Azzy and Kyla are pretty much in the same pose. You've got Nicole, who's shifted, but the most important thing of this is you've got Jesse in the background, and he is dressed up in his normal brainy gear, and he is actually wearing the suit. So it seems like this season we're gonna be seeing more of the suit because I've seen like a bunch of behind the scenes photos of him wearing the suit. And also, I have to say, it's a bit weird from episode 1 till episode 7 that they're filming right now. They barely shot anything outside or no one's captured it. I know they did a few things, but we've had no set photos from outside on the streets. They haven't done any big stunts. I know that they filmed near a lake at one point and I think in a park. However, no one really got to that. And the closest we got to actual set photos outside was in Kyla's episode that she was directing with the Danvers sisters when they were young, so that being Isabella Vidovic and Olivia Nakanan's episode. But I presume, and I think I would chalk it up to Melissa actually not being there. So fingers crossed we get more action and we see Supergirl in action out in the streets sometime very soon. And so I wanted to bring this up. So we've still had no set photos of Melissa. Some people were like, are they doing this on purpose? Are they hiding something? Has there been a change in her suit? Has there been a change in her appearance? Well, I think they are specifically doing that when they're inside. They're not taking many set photos because I guess they want to keep some stuff under wraps. And it seems like the only cast photos we are seeing is of the four here, Kyla, Azzy, Nicole and Jesse, and then also David Harewood as well, but he's directing, so I guess he was busy at this point. So could there be a specific reason? I think there may be one. However, I don't think Melissa has actually been outside on the streets to film as of yet and she's been catching up on some of the stuff that she missed out on and then probably working into some scenes in episode 7 but only in the inside sets as of right now. So again, we're going to have to wait longer for that. She did return on the 18th and currently it's the 30th. Obviously, they don't work on the weekends but really, she's been there for like nearly two weeks pushing it. And it is just a bit odd that they've barely been shooting outside for Supergirl. So I'm interested to see the reason why maybe we will actually see it like when we're watching the episodes that they're shooting most of the stuff inside or it's the fact that the photographers in Vancouver are totally missing out on it. But I kind of doubt that they're all missing out on that. But anyway, so let's move on to the last thing. So the end date for Supergirl's filming this season, well, for the final season, is August 6th. And so it's a long time away. And we were discussing this on yesterday's live stream and I thought about it and I had someone contact me and so we figured out that there are 139 working days that they have left before they wrap the whole season. And I'm talking about after they finish episode 7 from February the 8th and you know it's counting onwards from February 9th so I'm not accounting for the next week's worth of filming so adding on top of that there are over 140 days left. However, this is interesting because you're like, August, that is such a long time, all the other shows are wrapping in May. However, like I said at the start of this video, they're taking about 10 days to film 
each episode and so with it all calculated and it added up it does in fact add up to 130 working days so there's nine extra days that they've got and i presume that's just in case of any shutdown so it all makes sense and they definitely added it up and so the august date does make sense because that means they have 13 episodes left to film they do 10 days per episode they have nine extra days from february 9th onwards so they're going to be filming for quite a long time still and in terms of when the episodes are going to air until if they do air in april probably towards the end of april is more likely than not or may it would seem very likely with their 20 episode count that they may actually continue and they might run up to the full show's premiere so that being september probably early october is probably the latest that they're gonna end this final season so it seems like supergirl is gonna run through the summer into autumn into the fall before we get to their final episode which should be sometime around september october if we are estimating correctly so it seems like we're gonna be with supergirl for a long while they're gonna be filming then they're going to be airing episodes whilst they're still filming and even like halfway through airing the season they're still going to be filming so you know, there's the long way to go, but I'm very, very excited for the return of Supergirl, and hopefully you guys are. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already, so you get updated every time I upload a video. Also, click the join button if you want to become a member of the channel, and you guys will get access to exclusive video reviews for shows like WandaVision that members only videos coming out sometime in the next few days so if you want to support the channel that's how to do it and you get exclusive content but for now thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.